So the next talk we're going to do is on the relative risks of lockdowns for COVID-19. People that are very one-dimensional only see COVID-19 as uh, the threat of right now. That's all they see. The th what is uh, COVID-19? It's public enemy number one right now, right? That's what it's all about. But humans are not one-dimensional. And there's lots of other ways that you can kill a human besides COVID-19. Suicide. Suicide kills people. Well, the individual took his life, you know, he offed himself. You know, it was all, you know, like, they say mental illness these days, but, you know, in the old days they said, you know, just, you know, just wasn't tough enough, couldn't handle it. You know, just, you know, basically a weak member of the, uh, the deer uh, uh, herd, you know, the weakest member. You know, maybe it was the run to litter, couldn't run fast enough, or, you know, it, had, it was diseased and, you know, the wolves could uh, bring it down. And that's what happens with these ones that suicide out there. You know, they weren't tough enough to hack it. And, uh, you know, my heart goes out to the families and, and everything. But, you know, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. And uh, you know, if you're not tough here on planet Earth, you're going to get eaten by wolves, buddy. So the relative um, risk of suicide among people on the planet because these people might have agoraphobia kind of thing. In other words, no, it's the reverse of that. It's basically, uh, they are people who need to be out doing things. They, they're like people that, that anyway, you, they're just people that uh, can't handle being cabin fever. They can't handle the, being cooped up and having their freedoms taken away. And they get incredibly stressed. Incredibly stressed by these ongoing um, things. So what's the relative risk of dying from suicide because you can't uh, travel the world or do your square dancing or whatever it was that you regularly like to do and you I mean people have these horrible depressions they're real they're horrible and you know if they weren't cooped up and they had a regular routine where they could manage their uh, high anxiety over this issue and now they can't go anymore then you know then the anxiety is going to be like major intensified in long periods of time and oh well you know the lockdown stopped but now it looks like they're going to start up again for like wave two so it's just like you know it's like the stress it's like metal stress you keep bending a metal back and forth, back and forth, and it stresses the metal. And eventually the metal will break. Uh, then, you know, what's the risk to society from uh, small business owners and their employees when they can't open their store? And uh, they're, they've got their life savings tied up with this store, this business. And the business is being forced closed by the government. We know these are real stories. How much stress is on these, uh, these people? The business owner, uh, his, his family. How much stress is on these people? So people under stress, what happens to people under stress? Uh, well, they get sick. 
High stress, high anxiety, people get really sick from it. It's toxic. So all of this disease caused by this change in our society. So, once those businesses are gone, I guess, you know, if they're an entrepreneur, maybe they're going to start another business up. Who's going to give them the money when they lost all their money? Well, I don't know. I mean, seriously, one way or another, it's a lot of chaos and turmoil. So you're looking at all these relative risks to health of humanity and you know it's not even you though is it I mean it's the governors right it's the governors the people who have the legislation to run a lockdown and this is what they have to look at So we're just going to finish off by summarizing this last little bit. You are in a, another for, forced lockdown. And you are wondering, you know, is it best to be of the mind that uh, the COVID-19 lockdowns are the best thing we could do under these circumstances? because COVID-19 is the number one killer of people right now. That's the underlying statement. But if more people are being killed and, be, and being made sick by these lockdowns because of all of the, um, let's call it mental problems, economic problems, all these other different kinds of problems, that the cure for the COVID-19 etc etc